Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Zia, I'm a clinical psychologist specializing in transgender care. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about um, whether it's possible for your mind to uh, convince you to create a sense of delusion, if you will, that you are transgender when in reality you're not. And I'm talking today um, to a group that falls in the category age 28 and up. Last week I did a video of, for group 18 to 28 because it's very important to break down individuals into age groups because age does place a significant factor here. Uh, age absolutely does. As I talked in the last video, age 18 to 28 still are haven't really fully had their prefrontal cortex developed, the part of the frontal lobe that is responsible for decision making and responsible for cognition choices such as um, being able to see how your actions have any kind of consequences. Now for the older population that I'm talking about, age 28 and up, your prefrontal cortex is already developed. And if some of you are watching this and are still wondering, is it possible that right now I am convincing myself that I'm transgender, but in reality I'm not? And that's the question I'm going to answer for you today. So let's look at this question. So you, you're watching this, you're in a group 28 and up, right? And um, you perhaps are especially wondering if your mind has convinced you and has sold you on the idea that you're transgender, perhaps because you also don't really have traces of childhood memory uh, like a lot of people apparently do. And so you're wondering whether uh, that's a telling sign that if you don't have it, maybe you're not truly really transgender. So is it possible for your mind to convince you? Um, like I always say, everything is possible, but the probability of your mind trying to convince you is very, very small. The reason why it's very, very small is I have yet to see anybody fall into the age group 28 and up who woke up one day and said, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and be transgender and I'm going to go ahead and go through all of the everything that transition entails. I'm going to go through um, medical transition. I'm going to go through uh, surgical transition. I'm going to go on hormones. I am uh, going to go ahead and change my name. And I'm especially going to go ahead and spend a lot of money that transition entails. And I'm going to turn my world upside down and I'm going to have to come out to everybody. And I'm just going to see what kind of people will stay in my life and what kind of people are going to live. Nobody wakes up and decides to be transgender. Uh, people have a realization later in life that there's something about their, their gender identity that doesn't fit right. You have had that realization later in your life, perhaps some of you have, that something about your biological sex and the gender you were assigned doesn't resonate with you. And that realization might be later, it might be much later in your life without any traces of childhood experiences. But you are now, for whatever reason, it has come up to the surface and woken up and woken you up a long visit. So as a result, you're starting to experience dysphoria in different various shapes and form. And you start to experience dysphoria and then eventually uh, most of you decide to do something about it and deciding something to do often falls into the uh, route of transition. You decide to transition in order to alleviate gender dysphoria. But nobody, again, nobody just wakes up and decides to be transgender. And nobody wakes up and decides to be transgender uh, because of age, uh, because of, you know, middle age crisis or uh, difficulties in their life uh, or something else going on. Uh, that is usually um, an internal uh, gender uh, schema that has been organizing and has been there ever since uh, your childhood that is just now decided to be visible and right now decided to become central and uh, become um, uh, kind of in the front lines for you. So it's, I have yet to see, like I said, in my experience for an adult who was able to convince their mind that they are transgender, um, that conviction have yet to be seen. Uh, another thing that usually tends to happen with people who are older, and this is why I break it down into the groups, is because you belong to the generation, uh, kind of this pre-big internet, social media, YouTube type of generation. You belong to a generation that oftentimes was even more conservative toward gender expressions. You belong to the generation where uh, the language uh, and the way to describe uh, all these variations of gender spectrum did not exist. And as I say many times in my videos, as a result of that, your true gender identity becomes very much repressed until it comes out later in life. So because of that, because of all of that further feeds into you 
keeping your sense of self uh, buried, keeping your sense of self uh, locked away and uh, kind of behind closed doors. Because given the context where you grow up, you didn't have an opportunity to explore your gender first you do now. So that's another thing. On top of that, most of you, because you fall into older category, most of you have had intimate relationships, sexual relationships, uh, friendships, uh, you were able to hold a job, you went to college, uh, you, you finished, uh, finished projects, uh, some of you are married, have been married, have children, um, some of you have lost people. In other words, you have had life experiences. You have lived a life, you have experienced life. Um, and that also informs your internal understanding and your ability to make decisions. So what I'm trying to say is because you're older and you lived your life, you're a very well-rounded individual. So well-rounded individuals don't just wake up one day with conviction in their mind that they're transgender. Um, your mind has, is not capable of really convincing yourself of something you're not. But your mind is capable of bringing to the forefront, like I said, a part of you that for some reason has been in denial, has been buried, has been repressed, has been dormant for a long, long time. And when it comes to the surface, that's when you're starting to experience gender dysphoria. But to convince yourself that you are transgender, no, I, I'm sorry, I have yet to see that. So a lot of times I see, not a lot of times, but sometimes I'll get a, a new client and it'll be somebody um, who's older. Um, and sometimes it's it's people who have lived quite a bit of their life. I'll have people in their uh, late 60s to their 70s to their 80s who will ask me this question. They will ask me, is it possible that I'm just telling myself this? Is it possible that I came up with this? And the answer is no. You don't just come up with this. This is not something, this is not a walk in the park. This is not me waking up one day and saying, you know what, I'm gonna change the shade of my lipstick. This is not waking up one day and saying, you know what, I'm gonna maybe um, uh, change some parts of myself. Maybe I wanna get a different haircut or maybe I want to change my career. This is something that is very deep, something very dynamic, something that is very at the core of your overall big pizza pie of identity. It's not something that somebody makes up at your age category. Now, if you're younger, like I said in the other video, if you fall age 18 to 28, you, you should go ahead and watch that other video that I did. I'm gonna link it below. Because if you're younger, then that's a different story. Then there is a slight possibility that your mind may be confusing other elements that are going on with you. Uh, perhaps gender expression, gender role, and other things. Confusing that with your gender identity. But when you're older, no, I gotta say, uh, if some of you are watching and you are still sitting there thinking and experiencing this 40 and you're asking yourself, maybe my mind just came up with that. No. Our minds don't come up with something like that. The same way uh, my mind has not, and I'm 40, has not, and I don't think will come up with gender dysphoria because that incongruency is not at the core of my identity. Um, I don't just wake up one day wanting to, um, or have a realization that I don't uh, resonate and don't relate to my gender. People who do wake up with that realization, it means it's been there all of your life and it's just now coming up to the surface. And there's many reasons why it never came up to the surface before. And chances are it did come up many times before, but you didn't really realize that's what it was. So if you're watching this, um, hopefully this is helpful. Comment below and let me know if you fall into this age category. And if you are still wondering and thinking if your mind is making this up, if you are thinking that your mind is um, playing tricks on you, Comment below and let me know why you think that and why are you struggling uh, to trust yourself and to trust your inner knowing. Because I really hope you start really believing your inner knowing because your inner knowing is very strong. Another reason why you may have not had this realization that you're transgender earlier in your life because you were not ready to have that realization. Maybe the context in your environment and circumstances were not ready for you to be able to deal with it, but now you are. So trust that it's happening when it needs to happen. Like I said in my other video, try not to have the Regrets. Regrets are uh, in the past, past is for references, not for residency. So comment below, let me know. I love reading all of your comments and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye.